This is the really important thing that I want to communicate to the town. The history of this place is our family has held on to it by selling off the rest of the island. Yeah. We used to own the entire island in the 1600s. And over the generations, they just kept selling off parts. And those parts became South Ferry. Those parts became Deering Harbor. It became, you know, the Rams became the Heights over the years. And that kept the place going, the core going. And now we're down to 243 acres. And I could inherit this place and I'd have to sell off big chunks of it in order to just afford to keep it up. So why not take this moment in time, get this amazing moment where Eben is willing to support this idea that we could keep the core, we could keep the history and the stories and the property going for another 360 years, but it does mean that we have to give up ownership. And I have to give up ownership and, and Eben has to give up ownership in order to do that. But I think that's the right thing to do because what we get, we give up ownership and we give up the, the ability to cash in on this real estate. But what we get is the ability to ensure that we have experts taking care of it forever because we've, we can bring in expert management. We don't, have to re we don't have to rely on the genetic lottery that there's going to be somebody in the family who cares enough about it or who's smart enough about it or dumb enough to, to inherit it. We can make sure that the people who love it the most are the ones who are here taking care of it forever. That's the idea. And it doesn't have to be people in the family. It can be people on the island who love it. People who are in the preservation world who love it. Historians who love it. Farmers who love this opportunity to farm in this climate with these amazing soils. Um, with the history of farming and food on this place. Those are the people who should be here inheriting this place for the next 360 years. And maybe in, in as many words or <laughs> more words, <laughs> I, I kind of gave this vision to Eben and he loved it. So the, the great news is um, it didn't come out of thin air. We've got these analogs in Shelburne Farms and Stone Barns. They're doing amazing things. With, with historic preservation that is merged with active cultivation and community education. All of those things can come together. They're not at odds. They support each other. It's a great alternative to the house museum model, which generally creates these dusty relics that lack relevance and struggle to attract an audience. And what are we preserving? We're preserving a collection of structures, a piece of land, the ecology that's here. But even more so, we're preserving this history, uh, 360 years of culture, of people making decisions about landscape, about structures, <laughs> about community economics, and mostly it traces its line through food and decisions around surrounding food and those ideas. And to me, if we're, that's what's really worth preserving, four eras of food and culture, the evolution of America from Native American, pre-European, to the present day. That is the energy and innovation that came with all of those eras, is what we want to preserve and encourage going forward.